Hello and welcome to Tennis Through Trial and Error. Today we'll be discussing a very important uh, thing that is called recognizing a good tennis shot. Many a times what happens is that a person or a tennis player plays a very good tennis shot and he doesn't even realize that was a good tennis shot. There are two things uh, that prevents him from recognizing a good tennis shot. The first I would say is the player himself. See, uh, we, we think that uh, uh, the pros which play tennis, uh, who the people who wins a lot of uh, trophies, uh, so what they are doing is the right way to do it and it is the only way to do it. What they are doing is right, but it is not the only way to do it. Sometimes what happens is that we play a good tennis shot, but because it doesn't look like the shot, uh, like a pro player, so we get uh, to think that we uh, that we start to think that this shot is not good. Uh, this is not a good tennis shot because it is uh, it doesn't look anything like the uh, what the pros play. Uh, and that is quite normal to think that way because they have won so much and they know better uh, they know tennis much better than we do and i agree with it second thing that prevents us from recognizing a good tennis shot is uh, the coaches what is uh, most of the coaches they have this pre conceived notion of what a good tennis shot is even if you do play a good tennis shot, they would be like, uh, no, no, you should do more of this, more of that, less of this and less of that. So what they will do is that they will try to change your game style, uh, your swing pattern, your swing style, everything in order to fit their, their the coach's preconceived uh, notion of what a good tennis shot is. So these are the two basic things that prevents us from recognizing a good tennis shot. Now, I'll give you an example. A tennis player called a Russian tennis player called uh, Daniel Medvedev. So he has a very unorthodox kind of a backhand. It, it looks like uh, someone is sweeping the floor with a broom. That kind of forehand. When he initially burst into the scene, lot of my fellow coaches, they were saying that uh, this technique is wrong. And he, if he wants to uh, get any further in his tennis career, he should change his forehand swing. That is what uh, they were suggesting at that time. And now that he is such a successful tennis player at this moment, the same coaches who first uh, uh, recommended that he should change the swing are now uh, praising him and saying that backhand is a, uh, is a work of a genius. Only genius can play that kind of a backhand. So see, uh, Daniel Medvedev has his own style of playing. So does everybody else. You have your own style of playing. I have my own style of playing. But how do we recognize that our style of playing, that our tennis shot is good enough? How to recognize that? There are a uh, few things that you have to look out for a good tennis shot. The first is effectiveness. <laughs> as we all know, uh, as I mentioned in the Daniel Medvedev's example, because he won so many uh, tournaments, uh, people... Uh, Obviously, it was effective as a result of which it uh, he managed to win so many tournaments and all of a sudden people were like praising that shot which they were in uh, uh, in the beginning they were uh, criticizing. So first is the effectiveness. Is it effective? Is your tennis shot effective? That is first thing you have to look after. Second important thing you have to look after is uh, you have to check is that the feedback that you receive from your racket after you play a tennis shot after you hit a ball you receive some kind of a feedback. I am not able to explain it. It is something intangible. It is the feedback that you receive. If you hit the ball through the center of the racket, you will get some kind of a feedback from your racket. If at all the ball is a little off-centered to the racket, then you will get some kind of a feel. A centered ball, a ball that is hit from the center of the racket will give you a good feel. And you should look out for that feel. So that is another marker that you should look out for for a good tennis shot. The third is predictability. Now, are you able to hit the ball where you want to hit it exactly? Like suppose if you want to hit a cross court ball, but if the ball is ending up down the line, so that is not a good tennis shot. It should be predictable. If you want to hit a cross court, is it going cross court? Okay, then it is a good tennis shot. If you want to play a cross court short angle, is it going a short angle? If it is, again, that is a marker of a good tennis shot. The fourth one is the consistency. Like if you are able to hit 9 or 10 out of 10 balls 
consistently in the same area with the good predictability like where you want to hit it it is landing same uh, the uh, where you exactly want it to be if it is having that sort of consistency it is a good tennis shot and the last and the important thing is that as i mentioned earlier do not try to copy anybody just because someone is playing a tennis shot like this that doesn't mean you should play it like that okay if at all you are playing like this that means you are manufacturing it and the tennis shot should not look manufactured it should look natural something that comes naturally to you which you are comfortable and which is convenient to you so these are the few things that you should look out for uh, understanding and recognizing a good tennis shot the first is effectiveness the second is the feedback that you get from your racket the third is predictability of your shot is it landing where you exactly want it to land the fourth is the consistency are you able to hit it consistently like 9 out of 10 10 out of 10 8 out of 10 then that is a good tennis shot and lastly it should not look manufactured it should look natural tennis shot so these are the markers through which you can understand that your tennis shot is a good tennis shot and you can uh, basically recognize that good tennis shot as i mentioned earlier coaches and you yourself actually sometimes don't realize a good tennis shot and you try to do something that is not natural to you that is something uh, that is copied from others or uh, the others uh, other persons idea of a good tennis shot so you should avoid that and you should refrain from such things lastly i will give you an example of rafa nadal when he first burst into the scene he had the forehand like this the helicopter one the one which ended over his head uh, again even at that time there were people who were saying that this shot looks very unorthodox and things like that but now after such a huge success everybody is obsessed with that kind of shot everybody is working uh, everybody wants to have that uh, maximum amount of top spin on their tennis shot people are trying to copy his swing his follow through some people are uh, uh, opting for more uh, open frame racket like 16 by 19 and so on and so forth okay so please just because your uh, tennis action or your uh, uh, game of or your movement or uh, most of the things uh, doesn't look exactly like the pro that doesn't mean they are bad okay you have to understand your tennis shot recognize your good tennis shot recognize your game okay don't sell yourself short